you're Romanian, sir? No, I'm not. You're British? Yeah. Very nice. So what were you doing here? We don't accept immigrants. <laughs> How's it feel to be on the other side, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, so... Ah, who's the immigrants now? Eastern European. Don't worry, we welcome you with warm hands. You know? Warm hands and your empty pockets. <laughs> and I can always identify the Eastern Europeans, man, because uh, it's very easy. Whenever Eastern Europeans meet each other, there's a secret game that we instinctively play with each other, right? It's a secret game that all Eastern Europeans play together. The name of the game is... Let's see who had the shittiest child we growing up. <laughs> It's a game that all Eastern Europeans play, man. All Eastern Europeans play. It's very interesting. When I was in Estonia, the Estonian people were like, when I was growing up in Estonia, all I had to eat were potatoes. <laughs> when I went to Poland, the Polish people were like, when I was growing up in Poland, all I had to eat were smaller potatoes. <laughs> There's a Romanian, my reply is always, well, did you have to steal those potatoes, motherfucker? <laughs> the UK Manchester I was just traveling as a tourist to check it out right and I remember that my first experience there is I, uh, I'm traveling in the city and I bump into this Polish couple and they also travel and I asked the Polish guy hey man you got any suggestions what I should visit here in Manchester and the Polish guy says you should go to the cemetery <laughs> I was like oh my god why and then his girlfriend says free entry <laughs> little Polish travel hack there for you. <laughs> free entry, and if you try really hard, free jewelry. <laughs> oh, a couple of uh, great robbing enthusiasts I see. <laughs> but it's not all that bad, man. Things are getting better every day in Eastern Europe. Things are getting better every day. Which is why I was so happy to see the first Eastern European representation in a big Hollywood movie, right? In Harry Potter. You guys remember this? In Harry Potter. In Harry Potter, there's, uh, there's this uh, spell, they do this spell in the scene, where they do this spell, the spell is Regardium Leviosa. And they levitate the feather, right? If you look very close to that scene at the back, there's two guys doing Regardium Leviosa. <laughs> and they levitate the sack of potatoes. <laughs> Whoa, that's my people! Look how heavy that sack is, right? <laughs> Well, I do get to go to a couple of places with this comedy thing. I usually went to Helsinki. Helsinki, very expensive country, much like here, right? How expensive? I was in the middle of Helsinki, and this beggar comes up to me and says, Please, sir, can I have nine euros? <laughs> nine euros? Nine euros? Uh, friend, I don't send my family to <laughs> When I moved to Germany, Berlin, and I told them I'm from Romania, and they'd be like, Oh, Drago, you're from Romania? You're from Romania? Do you know this song? Do you know this song? My heart, my heart, my heart. Drago, that song is from Romania, correct? Actually, it's from Moldova. <laughs> We're not gonna take that away from them. They don't have much as it is. <laughs> We are getting more and more representation, man. Every day things are getting better because actually, this week Instagram introduced a new filter to their collection called Eastern Europe. <laughs> Did you guys check it out? Man, you gotta check it out after the show. What happens is you add the filter and it removes joy from the eyes. <laughs> yes, you heard of red eye? This removes that pesky joy. Yeah. During the Actually, during the pandemic, I was talking to my mom quite a lot, and uh, let me tell you how the conversations with my mom were going before the pandemic. So, before the pandemic, usually the conversation would be me calling her and she telling me about the neighbors. The conversation like this, uh, Dragos, remember that one neighbor from the first floor that used to bring you candies when you were like seven? I was like, oh yeah, uh, how's he going? He's dead. <laughs> These are the conversations before the pandemic, right? So when the pandemic came around, I already expected the worst. I prepared myself emotionally for the worst, right? So my mom calls me, starts saying, uh, Drago, you remember that one lady from the fourth floor that used to bring you flowers when you were four? I said, Mom, I know where this is going. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. She's dead. Said, no, 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 she's dying. <laughs> But here's the problem, not even Google believes that my name is Dragos and every time I put my name into Google, it gets auto-corrected to Dragon. <laughs> so most of my emails look like this. Dear Mr. Dragon. 
<laughs> so I was gonna reply, please, there is no need for formalities. <laughs> Mr. Dragon is my father. <laughs> At the time, I, had, I was growing my hair out. I got a bit of a man bun situation going on here. And I had to go to H&M to buy a hairband for my hair. And the girl there uh, at the cashier was Russian. So I go and ask her, please, can you tell me where can I buy a hairband for my hair? And she says, you can buy it in the women section. <laughs> because it is for women. <laughs> I'm like, why so passive aggressive, man? So anyway, I ended up dating this girl. <laughs> You know, when I first started doing comedy, uh, my parents always tried to be supportive. My mom doesn't speak any English, right? My mom doesn't speak any English. But she does come to some of my shows. And this one time, like, one of the first shows I did, I did this joke. Not a very sophisticated joke, it's a bit of a lowbrow joke. Let's see if you guys get it, right? The joke was, this is what I imagine a very good Friday night on Tinder to end like for me. This is the joke. Oh. <laughs> did you guys get it? Not a very sophisticated joke, for those that did not get it, I am hitting someone's face with my penis. <laughs> Not sophisticated, right? My mom comes to me after the show, remember, she doesn't speak any English. She comes to me after the show and says, Dragos, I don't understand much about your comedy. I don't understand much. But tonight, my favorite joke, my favorite joke is that one joke where you're putting on makeup. So you have to start strong in the dating app. So my first message is always, my dad just died. <laughs> And he left me some property. <laughs> so I'm covering myself on two bases, right? You know, she knows I'm sentimental and emotional, but at the same time, I have some form of real estate. <laughs> Which is really the thing that you want to communicate for these apps, right? You know? And moving over to Germany was a very important moment for me, because as a Romanian, moving to Germany meant that I finally get to become European. <laughs> And the German people were like, yeah, yeah, you can be European, but the East European. <laughs> See, my identity is like a Pokemon, right? I start off as Romanian, I evolve with Eastern European, maybe one day European. Right? But I've come to terms with my Eastern European identity, and I'm now a proud East European. I am proud to be East European. So I thought to myself, I am going to go and hang out with my Eastern European brothers and sisters. So I went to Poland. So I was like, guys, Poland, Romania, Eastern European brothers and sisters, right? And the Polish people were like, uh, nah. <laughs> Actually, in Poland, we are Central Europe. <laughs> you can take that Eastern Europe and go hang out with Ukraine and Moldova, right? Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dragush, uh, straight from the stage. Wanted to thank you all for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do subscribe like and comment and also watch some of my other videos i've got a bunch of videos throughout this whole channel so i hope you guys enjoy it thank you and see you in the next one